Hello YouTube and welcome fellow knife enthusiast. Today, today we have my very first sing cut knife. And it's also going to be my first button lock knife. So I get a nice pouch. Nice soft lining. Feels like a pretty big microfiber cloth. Damn, that thing's huge. And then we got the knife. And this is going to be the sink cut. Sachet pocket knife it's in micarta oh, really nice action drop shut with the button I did watch uh, some reviews on this it did have a uh, a little bit of button stick some of the reviewers said and I I do notice a little bit of a button stick I don't have any other button locks to compare it to though flipper does work wanted to go for the liner lock there no liner lock on this Let's see Not bad. Detent is coming from the actual button. So it's not quite as stiff as it could be. I don't know. Definitely drop shut. Let's see, you can open it just with the button. Now I noticed the VV had a button lock where uh, you could only open and close it with the button, which that does work really well. But I wanted something with a flipper, have a ultimate or uh, another deployment option, and then this has the thumb studs, which work extremely well. Probably should have just spent the extra money and got the Civivi button lock. I'm sure I would like it more. I think these are made by the same company. Probably should have bought the Civivi Odium instead of this EF knife, which I'm probably still going to buy the Civivi, but it's twice the price, and uh, or I'm still going to buy the Civivi one. Even though it's twice the price and in the same steel. But uh, I've been carrying this one on me. I really like it. like the size of it. like the ergos of it. But I don't have a button lock in my knife collection. So I've been looking at this one for a while. Wanting to try it out. I have a slow roll. Definitely has nice micarta. Definitely a rougher filling micarta. Some micarta feels like it has a... I don't know, like it's real smooth and kind of G10-ish. And other micarta feels like actual material. And this one is definitely one that has a nice soft feel to it. Like it feels almost like material. I don't think this is a denim or blue jean micarta. It might be, but I don't think it is. A little bit squeaky, the button lock on it. I mean, like the whole knife is a little bit squeaky. Probably could benefit from being taken apart and oiled up. Let's do a size comparison. Against one of our 
favorite EDC knives, Ontario Rat Model 1, which you can see is just a little bit bigger, pretty close to the same size. This is definitely more of a spear point. And how about against an Ontario Rat Model 2? You see it's quite a bit smaller, so it's a good medium-sized knife. Then against our favorite EDC knife, the QSP Penguin. Quite a bit smaller. I think Syncut's made in the same factory that makes Civivi and Wii knife. So, Civivi's are a little bit more expensive line, and then the Wii knife is her premium line. Button lock is very fidgety. Uh, right after getting this, I carried it all day long and uh, had fidgeted it quite a bit. Still feels the same. Doesn't feel any different than the first time I did it, though. So we do have milling on the inside liners. No backspacer. Feels really light in the hand. Pretty thin blade stock. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, help me get to 100 subscribers. And then I'll be giving away the Sativian ST131. That I did put a mirrored edge on it for the winter. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. And the notification. But this thing just has absolutely amazing action. So easy to spidey flick it. As I messed it up several times. Just because I was holding it completely wrong trying to get it into the video. But... Very, very fidgety knife. Extremely, extremely sharp. Let's see how sharp this sink cut came. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty darn sharp there. Oh. Yep. Definitely got a good edge on this baby. Got some 9CR18 MOV, which I'm not real familiar with that still. If anybody knows more about the still, comment down below. I would love to know more about it. I might look it up and do a little research on it after this video. 9CR18 MOV. Because this definitely is not a cheap knife. Not expensive though. Under $50. So, I think the Civivi version of this that looks almost identical. And it's a button lock flipper. I think it's like 70 or 76, so. Really, really awesome action. Detent does feel a little weak on it, but not horrible. Let's get a weight on it and ounces and it's 3.54 ounces 3.55 ounces so it comes in under four ounces which makes for a really good everyday carry as we know definitely happy to finally add a button lock to the collection though Especially one in this Micarta. 
Really nice looking micarta. Really like it. Similar. I don't even know. Where I put it. My best tech knife I just had. Huh. But it feels real similar to it. Here it is. No, it doesn't. This is a lot tighter. So it does not feel similar to this. This feels a lot tighter, smoother, harder. This feels more softer. This is it. It really feels like the QSP Micarta. That's it right there. These two Micartas feel damn near the same. Let me know down in the comments what you think of Sincut knives. Should I just be buying the Civivi versions? Spending the extra money? Skipping out on the, like, the Sincuts that are similar and the Ethan Growls that are similar? Because I do love the shape of this and the ergos of it. Uh, I think we even offers a knife similar to this or Ferrum Forge, one of them. No, I think it's we offers this in a full titanium. So, of course, I definitely would love to have that in the collection someday. No, I'm a big sucker for titanium knives. But, anyways, let me know what you think about this sing cut knife button lock flipper 46 bucks i'm not disappointed at all definitely happy to add it to the collection definitely happy to add a button lock to the collection i know they're the big rave can't believe it's taken me this long to get a button lock kind of crazy isn't it well, make sure to like, subscribe, and have an awesome day.